Life cycle of a hookworm. I hope you're ready. First, you got sucked into the idea of walking barefoot on grass. Now the hookworm sucked itself in to you. Big mistake. It's now only a matter of time until your new friend makes its way to your bloodstream, sending itself everywhere, including your heart. After it's done feasting there, it wants a taste of its next destination, going through the pulmonary circulation to your lungs. Now surprisingly, having worms in your lungs isn't too pleasant for them, so it's only a matter of time until they get irritated and you start coughing them up, and so they go to your throat and then you actually swallow them and they go down to your intestine. By this point, the hookworms have had some fun, they've been on some adventures, they just want to settle down in their permanent home, burrowing into the wall of your intestine to suck on your blood and make it its new permanent home, have some kids. Now every time you go for a poop, your friend is there for some moral support. Around 600 million people are infected with this and it can be found on a stool test.